guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. If you haven't already, hit the subscription button below along with the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. It also gives my channel the opportunity to grow. I thank you in advance. Today on Creative Glam Craft, I am going to share with you how I made a bookmark slash dashboard for my classic happy planner. If it sounds like something you're interested in seeing, I sure hope that it is. Stay tuned. Now let me move some of these things out of the way so we can get started. This is what you'll need to complete this project. Okay, now I'm going to use a dashboard that I purchased from uh, Mombi. This is going to be my template. So, measure. That's about five and a half. Five and a half by. Five and a half by nine and a half. And these are the two glitter sheets that I'm going to use. The colors match almost identical to the inside of my deluxe cover for my happy planner. All right, so let's get cutting. So I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to cut these into squares because I'm kind of going to make it. I'm going to make it somewhat like a checkerboard. So each square needs to be. Uh, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. You know what I need? I need my cutting board. Two and three quarters. Now together, that should be the length. See, one seems bigger than the other. Maybe it's my angle, I don't know. Anyway, now I'm gonna cut these down and I'm going to make them, like I said, I'm gonna make like a checkerboard design. So that's the width. Now, I got my four pieces. This out of the way. Now, I gotta put them together.
made it. But still. It's not too bad. Then I pull that up. That's gonna be one side, and that's gonna be the other side. Now, I'm going to cut my tab on this end because I got to fix that. Hmm. Yeah, just like that. So, the tab can be here. That's where the tab needs to be, right there. I'm trying not to leave a, you know, a dark line, but I'm trying to leave a face on the tree. There you go. That works. Barely, but I can see it. Let's see. Sorry, so that the so that I can see her cut. that up a little bit. I think that came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Came out pretty good. So that's one side of the bookmark slash dashboard. And this is the other side. Oh, that's going to be cute. I like that. But if I put another piece, again, I'm risking going too far. I'm risking it being too, too thick. We'll put this piece on.
Oh, that's cute. I like that. Choose joy. Wait on the other side. I got my flowers. Okay, now. I'm ready to blend it. Okay. I enjoy crafting. Crafting gives me... I don't know, it's like... It makes me calm. I guess because I'm concentrating on something else other than worrisome stuff. So, I, I'm calm. I'm always very calm, and I like that. Remove this top sheet first. Will do. The bookmark is my priority here. Rolling out. But it's okay. I got it. I don't have a um, phone store. So I just usually use a credit card. That is so cute. Okay, so uh, now I just need to cut it out. I don't know, I might need to use scissors. That was a little close, that was close. And I usually just take the credit card and run it down that side to make sure it's still together. And do it again. I'll give myself a little more room. All right, that's better. Then again, I take that credit card and score that side, making sure it's still together. And we'll do the bottom. You know, you cut it just shy of where you see that air pocket so that it doesn't come apart. I'm sure you're all aware. Just, just a reminder, just a friendly reminder. There we go. That might be a little too long on that side. I didn't cut enough. Just a hair bear more. That's good. Now I'll we'll take this top. Then I'm going to have to use the scissors for this indentation down here because my cutter's not going to get in there the way that it should. Have a score. I don't know where it's at though. I'm just gonna use my scissors to take this part off. I think that turned out really cute. I think that turned out super cute, huh? Choose joy. That's one side, and that's the other side. Now let's throw some holes in this baby, and uh, we're done. I might have to do that with my scissors. It's not fitting in my cutter for whatever reason. But I gotta get that sharp corner off. Can you see that? Just cut those corners off. Now, I need my template again so that I can do some holes here.
Ugh, that's kind of tough. Line it up. Hmm. Ouch! I'll tell you, these little rubber handles on here, they slide. When you're cutting, as I'm adding pressure, the rubber grips are sliding. That's just terrible. Gotta have some uh, power. Oh, almost there. Can't find a hole. Last one. I'm trying to move them out of the way so I can see. over them and cut them so that they'll fit in the apple planner. I don't know if I'm going to have to cut them once or twice. We'll see. I'm going to cut them once and then I'm going to give it a try. And if I need to, I'll go back and I'll widen that, that uh, slit if I have to. I might need to, but we'll see. I think this turned out so cute. Look at that. DIY dashboard bookmark. You can use it as a bookmark. It doesn't have a, uh, you can use it as a bookmark or you can use it as a dashboard. You can take and attach your, your favorite stickers or your favorite, um, you can add washi tape to this. You can decorate this any way that you choose. You can add your, your, your post-its to it. You can add your favorite stickers to it. Um, there's so many things that you can do with these. I just thought it was so pretty and I just fell in love with the color scheme because as I, again, said it's, um, it fits my planner so perfectly that, um, I couldn't resist that color, that color thing because I, I think that it's just fantabulous. I really do. Um, let's see if it'll fit. Alright. There you go. Perfect. Alright, there you go. Get in there. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. That is so pretty. So when I open it up, I can place my little notes to myself. The current, current and that's what I usually do, the current project that I'm working on usually sits right there. Any notes that I'm making, uh, that I need to make about the current project is right there. So I see this and I love it. And that's my little inspirational quote. Choose joy. I choose joy. Now, what I do on here. and put my paper clip right in it. quite a bit, I must say, I must say. I have a DIY bookmark, because it has the tab up here, as well as a dashboard. You can write on this, you can stick your post-its to it, you can stick your favorite stickers to it. It was just what I needed, and as I guys we're done thank you all for tuning in i hope
hope you enjoyed my video of my version of a bookmark slash dashboard for my classic happy planner. One side is checkerboard with a sticker that says choose joy and the other side is a solid with a diamond shaped and flowers. I think it's super cute and I think it's super functional. I found out that's what I needed so I DIY'd it. I created it myself. I thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.